Hi again, one more time. With this video, we will conclude the mini-series dedicated to the third-person controller in Godot 4. The final part covers expanding the animated model with additional animations using the animation library, and possibly some other optimizations. Let's get started. We'll start by opening Mixamo and searching for and processing additional animations that would be suitable for our 3D character. As I think about it, two good candidates come to mind. Given that the script generated for us by Godot from the template already accounted for the possibility of jumping, we'll start with jumping. So I will search for the keyword jump and select perhaps uh, which one this result let's see yeah why not uh, we'll follow, follow the same procedure as before but this time we will choose uh, without skin option which will ensure the export of the animation without the model click Okay, it's downloaded as jumping FBX. Now, the second animation will be related to free falling. As we observed in the previous video, the character fell nicely after crossing the platform's edge, but remained in its current animation, which didn't look very natural. So we'll search for fall and select uh, falling idle. Yeah, it looks like exactly what we are looking for. So again, download without skin and download. All right, so we have both files here and now I'll switch to Blender and process the animations as before. Okay, so I'm opening Blender and as before, we'll just select all and X to delete. File, uh, import, FBX. I'll download folder and we select folding idle and jumping, import FBX. Okay, both of them are here and just like we did before, let's delete all armatures pressing X except the first one. Select the first one and fix the rotation. So it's facing the Y gizmo to this in this direction. And let's not forget to do object, apply and rotation. So it's reset to zero. Now so we'll switch to animation and click here on dope sheet to change to action editor. And what is this? It is, looks like a fall. Sure, let's rename it. And select the other one, which is jumping jump great let's export the result export gltf 2.0 the original folder and i'll call it animations glb export okay we are done in blender let's start godot and import these new animations into our project so our project is here and let's create a new folder for our animation libraries. We'll call it, for example, animations. All right, select the folder and we'll drag the animations GLB file into it. And now uh, I think that the falling animation should be looped, but the jumping one should not. So let's double click and fix it here, fall, loop mode let's change to linear jump will leave as it is re-import and now it's important to select the animations glb and switch to the import panel because glb file is by default imported as a scene which we don't want to do in this case we want it as animation library and let's click re-import and Godot wants to be restarted, so oh, let's do it. 
By the way, uh, this need for starting will finally be eliminated in Godot 4.2, which is in its first beta version as of the recording of this video. So for now, you still need to endure one editor restart in Godot, but it's not a big issue as one of Godot's great features is that the editor can start up in a matter of seconds, as you've just observed which isn't typical for all game engines. Very well, so it's imported. Now we will select the animation player and switch to the animation tab. Let's click animation button and manage animations. And here we will choose load library. Let's find our library in animations, double click, and it's here with both animations, fall and jump, perfect. Let's click OK and now we can see that new animations are already here in our list of animations. Let's check that they are correct. So I will first I will have to temporarily deactivate the animation tree. Let's get back to animation player and select for example falling and start it. Yeah, it's falling in a loop. If I change to jump, it's just jumping and it's a one-off animation, so it stopped. Great, everything works as expected. Okay, let's implement the falling. So first we have to switch to animation tree and restart it again, make it active. And now it would be great to add these new animations over here. And I suppose that we can get to falling from both the walk and the run. So let's do it for the walk first at animation animations fall move it a little bit here switch to the uh, switch to the arrow and drag it this time it will be one way because from falling i suppose there will, won't be any recovery so let's click it and the condition would be let's call it fall okay and we'll do the same for running so again, back to this pointer, right click, fall, or maybe we could do it just for one of them. Let's delete this, uh, yeah, and try to drag the arrow from here. Yeah, it works, perfect. So again, we want to apply the fall condition. Very well, now we have to implement this condition in the script. Let me just extend the window for editing. So all we need to do is just to add another uh, animation tree condition and trigger it when the uh, right circumstances are valid. So first we will change it to fall and now I think we should be falling whether we are moving or not so let's get rid of this and the running condition is not applicable here as well instead we want to check uh, the y coordinate of our character because if it's below some threshold we can say that it fell uh, it fell from the platform and is falling down to its doom let's try this global position y is less than and there should be something some a negative value because our platform is at 000, zero, zero. let's try 0 0.1 okay and that should be just working because our platform is very simple it's just flat of course if you have a more complicated terrain the condition would be uh, just more complicated as well but this is not a part of this video course maybe uh, later in the future let's start the game and run to the edge run 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 okay and once we can already jump but the animation is not active jump and we're falling right great it works very well, let's do the same for jumping. So I'll switch back to animation tree. And this time I think we have to separate them because we can jump from all states, idle, walk and run. And we have to return to the previous state that initiated animation. So 
let me start with adding for idle by the way instead of right clicking we can also use the arrow now just drag it somewhere and release the mouse and it will ask us to add animation so let's do it for jump and add a new condition jump okay and to return back to the idle status let's drag from here to here and this time we don't need any uh, condition like before instead we have to set that the switch mode won't be immediate but at end which means that after the one of animation jump will be finished the animation tree will automatically switch back to idle so this is the animations jump uh, and this is the animation tree part and now we will have to implement it here in the code so i will just copy and paste this line and change it to jump and now uh, the condition the first condition should be quite the opposite because if we are above the platform we are most likely jumping and another one is that we are not on the floor this is just a built-in function from character body 3d so we can simply reuse it and if we start the game now and press space we are jumping yeah you can observe that the animation we selected on mixama is probably not the best one because it's already doing some funny things in the middle air but of course this is just an example you can definitely find a better one or improve the animation in blender before uh, before importing it to godot so this is the first part and switch back to animation tree and do the same for walk and run uh, okay let's drag from walk somewhere to add animation jump and again we will set the condition to jump drag it back and change the switch modes to at end and finally for the run state and animation jump the condition is jump drag backwards and change the switch mode to at end let's check it run and i walk and press space yeah jumping <laughs> even more funny than from the idle state but as i said this is just a sample and running okay something is definitely wrong here but i'm not sure what <laughs> we shouldn't be free falling but perhaps i forgot to do something somewhere oh, i can find out later if necessary I'm not sure at this moment and it would take too much time to uh, locate the reason of this strange behavior anyway uh, as you can see these transitions were far from perfect and we probably need to set up a more complex way to smoothly transition from one to the other however for understanding the basic principles this should be sufficient okay i found the issue source everything was absolutely correct by for some reason the condition from this transition from run to animation fall was missing there was no condition so it just transfers to falling from running instantly i'm not sure if i did some undo one more undo than i had to do before anyway if we start it now and run with the character and press space it jumps so everything is working so that would be all for now i think this demonstration should be sufficient as a prototype of a 3d game with a third person controller in one of the upcoming videos i'll try to model a more interesting environment to conduct additional experiments with our character take care and see you again soon